Uh, very good afternoon to my respected faculty and my dear colleagues. I am Dr. Shobhit Ratan, junior resident in MD Radio Diagnosis Department in Maharishi Makandeshwar University, Mulanda Today I am going to present the case report on non Hodgkin's lymphoma. Lymphomas are the solid tumors of the immune system. Non Hodgkin's lymphoma are a heterogeneous group of lipoproliferative disorders originating in B, T, and natural killer T cells. A 31 year old male presented with chief complaints of left lower limb swelling in serious is onset, gradually progressive, associated with stiffness while walking, and also presented with left inguinal swelling and swelling behind the knee joint. USG local swelling showed a lobulated mass lesion in posterior aspect of the thigh, reaching till popliteal fossa, causing compression of the popliteal vessels. CCT abdomen showed large oculated homogeneous soft tissue lesion in the left hemi pelvis in extra peritoneal location along left psoas muscle, the left internal and external leg vessels, causing compression of the left external. MRI left thigh showed iso hyperintense lesion in the posterior aspect of the thigh extending to the popliteal fossa and casing the popliteal vessels. FNEC specimens of the histological examination revealed a typical lymphoid cell medium large cell with high NC ratio showing permanent nuclei in one monocytoid appearance suggestive of non Hodgkin's lymphoma. This article is an attempt to correlate the clinical and radiological imaging of the nuclear swelling to discern the possible differential diagnosis and the outcomes of the histopathological confirmation. Lymphoma, uh, lymphomas are the heterogeneous group of malignancies arising from the lymphocytes. Over recent years, improved clinical, radiological, pathological, and molecular data have helped guide and evolution in the classification of lymphomas. WHO classification recognizes more than mature B cell neoplasms and more than 25 uh, mature T cell natural killer neoplasms. Non Hodgkin lymphoma includes all lymphomas except Hodgkin's lymphoma. During the past three decades, there have been consistent reports of an increase in the incidence of non Hodgkin's lymphoma worldwide. The incident rates are about 1.5% higher in men than in women. The average age that diagnosis is about 6 decade of life. Although certain subtypes of non Hodgkin's lymphoma, such as Burkitis lymphoma and classic lymphomas, have been diagnosed at the younger age. Lymphomas present themselves as enlarged non tender lymph nodes, but may also involve external regions commonly involving the gastrointestinal tract, head, neck, femur, and other areas, like in my case. External involvement is much less as compared to less Hodgkin's lymphoma than in non Hodgkin's lymphoma. Recent advances in neurological imaging have significantly deepened our understanding of these diseases to aid in making the diagnosis more, thus improving the patient care. Now, etiological factors are infectious agents like EP virus, chemical agents, medical treatment can cause it, radiotherapy, chemotherapy, genital disease, autoimmune disease, and bone trauma. Clinical presentation can be non-specific. Most common finding is painless neuropathy. Other symptoms include fever, night sweats, pruritus, fatigue, and weight loss. Now, in my case, the article presents a 31 year of old male who came to hospital with chief complaints of left lower limb swelling, in status in onset, gradually progressive associated with stiffness while walking, and also presented with left inguinal swelling and swelling behind the knee joint, as you can see in the figures below. USG local swelling was done which showed large lobulated mass cells in the posterior aspect of the thigh, showing vascularity in the figures as shown below, reaching till the popliteal fossa, causing compression of the popliteal vessels. USG showed multiple hypoglycemic lesions in the left inguinal, compressing the left junction and left leg fossa. Based on the clinical history and USC findings, diagnosis of lymphoma was made. CCT abdomen was done which showed large located homogeneous soft tissue lesion in the left hemi pelvis in extra parietal location along the left psoas muscle between the left internal and external iliac vessels causing compression of the left external iliac vessels medially abutting the peritoneum and producing mass effect on the urinary bladder. It also showed few similar homogeneous nodular lesions along the left external iliac and left common femoral vessels and a large nodule region along the left common femoral vessels in the upper thigh region with small hypotense area of necrosis within them. The findings favored the possibility of lymphoma. MRI left thigh was done which showed ISO2 hypotense region in the posterior aspect of the thigh extending till the popliteal fossa and casing the popliteal vessels. However, flow void was maintained. The lesion is closely abutting the bone. However, no change in the bone signal intensity was seen. MRI also shows intramuscular extension of the lesion with no definitive involvement of the surrounding muscles. Now, FNS of this particular lesion was done which suggested and uh, high suspicious for non Hodgkin's lymphoma with granulation tissue reaction was done. Now lymphoma is a general term for a complex group of malignancies of the lympho uh, reticular system. These malignancies initially arise within the lymphatic tissue and may progress to an extra nodular mass or to a non-tender mass. Lymphoma in oral cavity usually presents as an external nodal soft to form asymptomatic lesion although the mass may also be painful. The WHO modification of the revised lymphoma classification recognizes these three major categories of lymphoid uh, malignancies which are B cells, T cells 
and Hodgkin's lymphoma. Non Hodgkin's lymphoma is one of the possible cancer in the lower limb and among external nodal non Hodgkin's lymphoma. However, GIT tract is the most commonly involved. Nose, paranasal sinuses, orbitis, salivary glands, and other possible organs affect decreasing order of the frequency with rare spread to the regional lymph nodes. Non Hodgkin's lymphoma has also been uh, recognized as heterogeneous group of disorders based on the clinical presentation, morphological appearance, and response to the therapy. In recent years, the use of radiological imaging techniques have led to the important advances in our knowledge and has provided the basis of better, uh, better understanding of the non Hodgkin's lymphoma. In our case, the patient had left low limb swelling with incision in onset, gradually progressive associated with stiffness while walking, and also presented with left inguinal swelling and swelling behind the knee joint. Primary lymphomas are also common in females. However, in our case, it was a young male. The recurrence of non Hodgkin's lymphoma is commonly in developed countries than developing nations. Among the developing nations, few of the Middle East nations show moderate to high intensities, and indolent assortment might be treated with radiation therapy alone, whereas disseminated variety requires a combination of radiotherapy and chemotherapy. Isolated lesions are managed by surgical uh, enucleation, however, surgery with combined radiotherapy and chemotherapy for better results. The prognosis of disease depends on these treatments. Now, conclusion, MRI, cross-sectional imaging, sonographic and conventional imaging techniques are excellent tools for evaluating the extent and side of the disease in the new lymphomas. Familiarity with the spectrum of the imaging findings in lymphomas is essential for radiologists to enable them to provide guidance for the treating physicians. We as a radiologist come in handy not only to provide the diagnosis but also to delineate soft tissues and the bony involvement thereby permitting procedural planning. Physicians, radiologists and pathologists must collaborate to make the diagnosis accurate and thus improve the patient care. Thank you very much.